In Madrid, there is always something to do, and Sunday is no exception. The exception may be that all the best ways to experience it are free. Hi, my name is Joan Avion. I love food, culture, and parties. I'm an American in transplant, now living in Madrid. Come with me. These are Expat Adventures. Here we are in the Plaza de Colón, um, and we are now in the Biblioteca Nacional, the National Library here in Madrid. Uh, built in 1712 by royal decree to have every book that was printed at the time shipped here, uh, has been here for a long time and features the works of San Isidro and Afonso de Sabio. And it's one of the most impressive and largest libraries in the world and holding over 26 million volumes of products here, including 14 million books. Uh, most of it is actually open to the public unless you have a strict materials section, um, which you have to be a researcher to look at. Uh, it's one of my favorite buildings here in Madrid, so let's go check it out. Originally founded by Philip V, he wanted this to be a modern-day Alexandria, and made a decree that every book printed in Spain had to have a copy in the Royal Library. During the Civil War, over 500,000 things were removed before the conquer Madrid surrendered to Franco and his army. Only being open since 2004 to the public, even from outside, it is spectacular to look at and is worth looking at, even if for just a couple of minutes. In the same block, but on the other side, is the Museum of Archaeology. This impressive building has the entire history of Spain, from a million years ago to the modern era. Make sure not to miss the replica of the caves of Altamira on the grounds of outside of the museum. So I'm so excited to what we just did here. Uh, we came to the Archaeological Museum here in Madrid, which has been closed up until a few months ago since I've lived here uh, for about a period of three years, um, this, this museum does everything from prehistory back from two million years ago to modern history. It's I think about six or seven floors and if you want to go fast, it's going to take you about two hours and if you want to take the whole day and see everything in here, you probably can. Uh, I definitely will be back when I have more time and it's free usually on Sundays. We're here on a Saturday and it was free. I don't know. You have to check your listings whenever you come here. Until next time.
we weren't allowed to record inside either building, but follow me on Instagram, Expat Adventures, to see even more.